This build is sponsored by wood to works where you can get quality woods for your luthery, turning and carving needs. They ship worldwide and have a great service to help you choose through their great selection.
So this was a lot of work for a few minutes of video. Uh, so just like the, the, filly, the, the filler piece for the dovetail and the fretboard extender, they, they needed a lot of attention to detail in those sections to get them uh, to the state they are. Uh, and then and making sure that all the transitions are sanded or filed and uh, so that, that was a lot of work. Uh, you might have noticed that I went pretty quick on the Peghead inlay. I do have another video on that subject so I will leave it at the end in, at the end of this video in the end cards and also in the description if you're interested in uh, learning more about this but basically the the mother of pearl part it's the exact same as this one. A uh, little issue here with the fretboard. I was hoping to get the radius done on it. Um, so the, the fretboard, I, I did glue it and I use, uh, and what I use is Duco cement and never had any issues with it. But for some reason, uh, I designed a, a point here on the end of the fretboard. And even though everything is uh, glued up really well, uh, this section here doesn't want to stick so what I did I and it's not the first glue up like what I did is like I tried the duco cement and that didn't work so I, I sanded the the two sides again uh, by and leaving the binding on here and then um, I tried epoxy so the epoxy actually worked in the wood but didn't really work on the binding because the what I like about Duco Cement is it actually melts the plastic and helps it bind to the wood. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I didn't leave it long enough. So I'll be working on this off camera and getting to, to get those pieces to stay on there. Um, so what I'm thinking is probably taking some 80 grit sandpaper again and uh, hitting those areas to leave some scratch and then put some more Duco cement. That's that's probably the what I'm gonna try again, because uh, there there's no epoxy left on, on the binding, so it didn't adhere there. But there is epoxy in the wood itself, so I'm thinking at this point I might be able to glue that glue to the epoxy and the scratch and melt the plastic, and then I'm gonna leave it to to uh, cure like a, a full 24 hours. So uh, so the biggest issue I've had so far on this build is the binding which is pretty funny in itself so in the next video I'll uh, obviously be radiusing the fretboard and also uh, adding the frets uh, most likely start most likely starting the, the bridge and I want to also add a few questions over the past years on how do I create intonation and intonation has to do with the difference gauge on the string. So that's going to be a separate video all on its own. A lot of information is going to be in that video. So uh, you don't want to miss that if you're in those kind of videos that uh, has a lot of information. But I'm going to show you guys how I go about uh, creating the proper intonation on the bridge, especially on an instrument that doesn't really have any prints out there. So once again, I want to thank Bow River Wood to work for the supplying most of the wood that I'm working with. Uh, it's been a blast so far and we're just about to hear it. So uh, a big thank you to them. Just have a look at the, what they can uh, offer for you guys. Uh, they ship worldwide. Uh, once again, a big thank you to Bow River. Thank you to you guys for uh, following this build along. I really appreciate your time and until next time, I wish you well.